Hello folks. Today I'm going to show you how to process the moon and it's going to be in PixInsight and I'm not trying to come across as an expert on processing the moon because I've only been doing this for probably a week or so and uh, it's for me the goal is is pretty simple for the moon. You want it to look crisp and clear. You don't want it noisy. You don't want it blurry. And, and that's it. And the video you just saw was created in SharpCap, and we're going to process that one. And if you've got PixInsight, uh, you may want to you, you'll want to watch this. If you don't have PixInsight, you still you can still use Wavelets in Registax or Photoshop, whatever you want to do. But this is for PixInsight, so let's get started. So let's open up the file because we want to stack that file in AutoStacker. I like AutoStacker. Some people use Registax. I like Auto Stacker. It's pretty simple. Let's open it up. And that was the one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And uh, the settings are pretty simple. Uh, if it's a planet, I use uh, uh, this option here for planet. But I notice this option doesn't really work so well for me if I, if I use it on the moon. So I click surface instead. And... Uh, these are the settings I use. I didn't really change any of these. I just say analyze. I forgot if this takes a long time or not. Okay, that's done. Okay, once number two is complete. And then up here, I you can either uh, stack 10% of the frames, 20%, uh, 50%. 75. If you don't want to go that route, you can put zeros in these. But I like to just have everything. I'll go 50%. Then I can decide later which ones I really want to use. I usually go with 50% uh, stacking half the frames. And there's 602 frames in all in this video. So 50% means we're going to wind up with about 300 stack frames. And this is an option you can just click on uh, Sharpen if you want to see a preview of how it, it may look when you're done processing it, but these are all the settings I use. I'm going to click Place Grid and hit Stack. And this takes a little while, so I will be back. Okay, so it finished, and if you saw any mistakes I have with Auto Stacker, and you, you, you know it better than I do, let me know. I'm all ears. So uh, let's go into PixInsight. And let's open up our moon folders. And you can see here's where we created the files in the 10%, 20%, 50%, and 75% folders. But we're going to use the one from 50%. And let's open up both of these files. Okay, so this is uh, Auto Stacker's version of a sharpened moon image. And you can see it looks, I, in my opinion, pretty terrible, but that's okay. It's not meant for final use. It's just a preview. And then here is the stack file that we're going to be working on. And it doesn't look too bad already. Not too bad at all. But let's get to work on it. Let's just, but we'll save off the original so we can compare it later. So let's create a clone. And, and uh, so let's move up the original stack. Auto Stackers version, and this is what we're going to be working on. I'm going to show you how I do it, which is, you know, I'm not a perfectionist here, and but I can do it pretty quickly. And what you, you want to look at this uh, one for one here, because one for one means this is the full resolution. You don't want to be working on the moon in in two for one, because if you work on it in this when you bring it down to its natural resolution, it's probably not going to look very good. So I always make sure I'm in one to one. Now, I want to make it a little brighter. You don't want to overdo it, but it was a little too dumb. Eh, let's just try that for now. Okay. And this is just like I did with Jupiter. Unsharp mask, this is a very soft touch applied, so we're going to click on it multiple times until we're satisfied with how sharp Jupiter is. Or, not Jupiter, the moon. Okay. Let's start. That's one click. Two clicks. It's getting more crisp and clear all the time. 
three clicks. A little bit better. Looking good. I think we can go maybe one more. Let's try it. That's four clicks. And you definitely want to keep an eye on the surface of the moon because it wants, if it starts looking uh, uh, noisy, you've probably gone too far. So we've gone four clicks so far. How about, can we get away with five? I think five, I think five works. How does that look to you? I think it looks pretty clear. What if we go maybe five and a half? What, what if we brought, which one, if I bring this down maybe to 60? Does that do anything? Yeah, a little bit. So that well, was about five and a half clicks. So what do you think? I mean, that's how easy I thought it was. Look how crisp and clear that. I don't think you're going to be able to see this in the video. And, you know, you could either, maybe if you know Photoshop, you could do a combination of Pix and Sight and Photoshop. But you can probably get most of it done in Pix and Sight. And let's compare it to uh, the Auto Stackers version of the Sharpen file. I mean, that's night and day. We can't even look at that. So, but let's, here's the original stack file. A little bit, of course, it was dim and certainly blurry, or not as clear. So, uh, really, that's all I did. I stacked it in auto stacker, ran Unsharp Mask a few times, and I don't know. Maybe you think it's still, you can check out my images on Astrobin and get a, a, a look so you can see it yourself, but that's all it took, about five and a half clicks with Unsharp mask. Can we go one more? Yeah, maybe a little more. Who knows? But that's something to play around with. And I mean, that's how quick I would do it because uh, I, I, I'm not a perfectionist where I'm looking at every single pixel. I, I think it looks fine and and I didn't use the wavelets. And my friend Doug uh, captured the moon on the same night I did because uh, he knew I was doing it, so he he did it. And I think sometimes we motivate each other to do stuff because sometimes when he's doing something, then I want to do it too. So it's good, you know, we keep each other going. But he, he did all his sharpening in Photoshop. And I thought, it, I thought it was about a tie, the way I did it, the way he did it. So anyway, well, that, that's all I've got. It looks good to me. If you look, just find something that looks crisp and clear, I got it here. Okay, I'll see you guys later.